Hey, hey. Three, two, two one. one. Welcome back to the Lord of My Show, everyone. Does that sound right? Yep. Welcome back to the Lord of My Show. Start your engine. <laughs> <laughs> Episode. I'm all right. Uh, well, I'm not. Episode forty. Why not? Is a t-shirt too big? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but this is this is the fit. It's mm. a skateboarder fit. Mm. It's for skateboarders. As I, I am a skateboarder. Yeah, where's your board? <laughs> no, I'm pissed off. Because. Fuming. Of your My, trim. Yes. <laughs> it looks good from I, the front. Yeah, but listen, for those that can see on Spotify and YouTube, I asked for a super low fade. Wait, <laughs> I don't think he's really blended in. I mean, it's, it's tiny. It's you got that Ramos haircut. <laughs> but I was like super low fade. I was like, I've been trying to grow it out a little bit. I was like, I just want it done at the bottom. <laughs> Straight up the side of my head. And I was like, oh my God. I, don't, I think it actually looks quite good from the front. I think it, the fit works. I think it goes together. Yeah, a white t-shirt and a head. <laughs> Shit <haircut. laughs> No, I think it was good. It's just the back is the funny part. Yeah. It- it's a half pipe. <laughs> You're wearing a helmet. <laughs> okay. Agony Uncles for this week. Agony Uncles. This week's Agony Uncles. I had this thing with a girl where we both liked each other and was practically with each other for a month. When we did the deed after I had the worst... When we did the deed after I had the worst post-nut syndrome ever and when we was going to sleep, I just ended it with her. So (laughs) When she she was asleep? When when they were about to go to sleep, he ended it with her. Oh, I thought he ended her in her sleep. (laughs) Jesus Christ. (laughs) Couple weeks go by and she basically shags my best mate without telling me. Then goes to me, let's try it again. What? So we did. And now I like her. What? But I have it in the back of my head, my mate railing her. <laughs> what is wrong with some people? I feel like some people don't care about that stuff. Well, he does because it's in the back of his head. Yeah. It should be at the front of his head. But what? what's his mate saying about it? Like, surely, does he dap up his mate? Yeah, they're Eskimo brothers. <laughs> I don't know. I, I would just, I would... Get rid of it. Get rid of all of it. Mm, life's too short to... Like, to have that anxiety... I, actually, I know it will end it for this guy watching. I know Rail her best mate. No. The sex was better. <laughs> I meant the sex was better between them two than you two. That's all you got to think about and that'll, that'll be it. Yeah, yeah. I was going to say something outraged. I'm not going to say it. Say it. <laughs> no, no, no. No, because no, then it can be cut out. We got to play to the whistle. It fell out and she put it back in. <laughs> oh my God. If he thinks about that, then... <laughs> <laughs> that'll, that'll, that is that should, wild. That should stop you from seeing her. That is wild. Mm. That we're trying to help you out. Life is way, 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 t- way, way too <laughs> short to have in the back of your mind. Imagine on your wedding day, it just pops in your brain that and your mate your railed man. her. Yeah, <laughs> they. That, that's where everyone cheats on wedding days and and stuff like that, isn't it? So you could Wait. go around a big. You have a wedding at a big place uh-huh. and then you just go into a random room and there's your wife in a dress in a dressing gown in a <laughs> bride's gown getting railed by the best man. How many times how often do you reckon that happens? That has got to be probably the worst thing that could ever, ever happen, happen. Ever happen. Ever happen. To say your vows to death do us part. <laughs> <laughs> and then part them like the Red Sea. Straight <laughs> after you say till death do us part. And then it's two beers and we part. Oh my God. Do you think Anything on your wedding night will take place that's a bit, whoa. Bit. A murder? Murder mystery? <laughs> Everyone's locked in the room. Who did it? And then there's this French guy in the corner. Yeah. <laughs> Twiddling his moustache. Poirot. Poirot, that's it. Pourquoi? 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 <laughs> no, I hope, not. I hope my wedding day goes swimmingly and smoothly. Yeah, yeah. I've never been to a wedding. I've been to a registration. Mm. Which is my brother's over lockdown. You're on the but... register. <laughs> <laughs> Why is the line so big? <laughs> no, I've never never been to a wedding. I think I went to a wedding when I was like six months old, but... Whose was that? Your own? No idea. I was just in the back chugging it, smoking it. You're in the back twirling your moustache. <laughs> there will be a murder. <laughs> there has been a murder. Uh, nah. Yeah, just just bin her off, mate. Life's too short to be with someone your best mate's been with. Yeah, hundred percent. That's just weird. So weird. I mean, we dated the same girl. Yeah, but we were so young. We were like fourteen and fifteen. That's outrageous. <laughs> My boyfriend and I broke up almost a year ago now, ending on okay but not great terms. Hmm. 
that probably is, just means bad terms. Yeah. I thought I had processed slash accepted it all by now and was healing, but I've recently been battling this new tidal wave of anger, jealousy, and grief about him and our relationship. From a guy's perspective, do you find this happens to you after a heartbreak, or is it easier to completely compartmentalize and move on when a relationship ends? And how do I move past these negative feelings? Thanks. I've had two breakups. Have you been... Have you... And they've gone two different ways, for sure. You've had three breakups. Three breakups. And none of them have been good. <laughs> no, well, they've they've been like really dramatized. Dramatized. That's it. Dramatized. <laughs> but like the first proper one, the third one you're thinking about is now, like, we were so young. Yeah, I just yeah, don't yeah. Really. It don't count, count no. really. But the first one I got cheated on and I was like, I thought this was the love of my life and i really wanted to like make it work and yeah. it just looking back at it, i'm like what the fuck am i doing mm. sound like a bitch bitch but after a year were you did you have no. any uh negative feelings or like after like three months uh three four months maybe yeah like three months i was like well angry mm. i was like fuck I hope the worst for that bitch. Yeah. But now I literally just actually don't give a shit. Yeah, but now it's so long ago. But so she's one ago. year after and she's now feeling jealous and stuff. Maybe that's random. But then the second, what well, I was going to say, the second breakup, like I just wanted to just go. Like I just didn't want anything to do. I didn't want to, I didn't want any feelings towards this girl at all. I just wanted it like gone out the window. I couldn't be bothered for the arguments, the anger, the anxiety, the, the overthinking. So I was just like, get out of my life. Yeah. And then you were friends again. Yeah. Like two years later. Through. Through now, years now, later. Now I, I can't remember the last time I spoke to her a couple of years ago. Damn. Yeah. Time flies. When Although you... we, I did see her at a, a festival. There was like a festival with like, 35,000 yeah. people. And I was like, I'm not going to see her. Two minutes in. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Mocking it. All she said was hello. No, that was me. Hi. Oh, okay. <laughs> so you're taking the piss out of no, her. No, no, no. No, I yeah. would, I would, I'd, I'd never, I can't be asked for that anymore. Do you not think? No, no, not at never. all. Never. But I think her feelings of anger, jealousy, and grief. I think it's normal. Grief? Grief about what? Do you cheat? she's gone? I don't know. I think they're valid feelings. I think every feeling... So valid. I think every f <laughs> feeling is valid. I don't think there's a right and a wrong way to go about it. So I don't think you should be like, oh, why am I feeling like this? But try and find out why you're... F as in, like, do you want to try again or, like, what? I, I don't... I think you should, shouldn't should try again. No, not if it's anger and grief no. and jealousy. Oh, no, those are three bad they're, things. They're bad. Yeah. They're s s deadly sins, aren't they? <laughs> Sloth. <laughs> but I wouldn't speak to him. No. Because I don't think that will help either after a year. I think you need to find peace. Yeah, with with yourself. As, as blunt as that sounds, you need to stop. Because it's wasted energy at the end of the day. Yeah, I, you can't help feeling like that sometimes. No, but I, I have managed over the last like what, year and a half. Yeah. If you've got energy of anger, it can easily be put into energy of doing something else. Like you've, you've got that energy inside you to feel that way. But so if you shift that energy into like, Lifting iron. <laughs> Lifting tin, yeah. yeah. Then, yeah, go gym, lift tin. <laughs> get massive. And he can get in the bin. And then beat him up. <laughs> Just get huge. Come back like fucking <laughs> Gorlock or whatever they say. Gorlock the Destroyer. My boyfriend tried it on with my best friend. What? My boyfriend tried it on with my best friend and has no idea I know. How do I get my revenge? Well, first he break up with him. That's the normal revenge. Reve uh, surely it's revenge on both of them no he tried to get with her best friend her best friend didn't do anything oh. he probably was chatting her up yeah hats off to the bestie yeah she's a she's, she's a, a real, real one <laughs> keep her around keep her tight <laughs> unless she's lying and then yeah. he, what if she <gasps> tried to get with him oh. and then he said no and now she's trying to play it off like oh shit yeah like he tried to get with me I swear he tried to get with me I like that um for the boys how would you get revenge in this situation? Because I'm at the age now where I wouldn't. No. I just don't think revenge... But if we bring Revenge is a dish best served cold. <laughs> <laughs> what the flip? I, I wouldn't even... I just... I don't know. Let's bring I have no energy to, in this life. Let's bring it back to when we're 18 and we had the energy for some sweet, sweet revenge. Sweet, sweet revenge. What would we have done? <laughs> I would definitely poo in a bag, light it on fire and just... Launch it at the front door. Yeah. No, you just... 
or and post they, it through the they letterbox. They try and put it out. <laughs> 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 a flaming bag. <laughs> That's what I'd do. I don't. I wouldn't. We're not condoning revenge. No, but trip her up. <laughs> it's a boyfriend. <laughs> trip him up. Trip him up. Trip him up. No, I don't know. Take him publicly. Embarrass him in a shopping center. Take him on a paragliding trip and don't tuck him in. Yeah, he just falls. No, don't do that. No, don't do that. That's that's obvious. Yeah, we're not condoning revenge. I'm gonna be accessor to murder or whatever it's called, accessory to murder. If I do, yeah, that. Damn. shit. Oh, that was a joke. <laughs> yeah, don't do that. Obviously, don't do that. Just um, just um, just um, expose him to him. It's only between you and him. Yeah. And the best mate. Do you reckon, like, do you reckon his mates? will say to him, like, what the fuck were you thinking? I don't know. I think every friendship group is different. Yeah. Like, some people are just yes men, and then some people are... Because if you did that, yeah. I, I would actually look at you differently. Yeah. I'd be like, shit, then what, what would he do to me? Exactly. <laughs> I hope it's way sexy. <laughs> 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 way more sexy than that. <laughs> no, but you'd never let me do that. Like, you'd never stand for that if you saw me try and get with someone else or get with someone's best friend or something, or cheat on anyone. Yeah... I know, if you cheated, I'd be like, what the fuck? Yeah. I'd actually be so confused. I'd be like, Lloyd, this isn't you, man. <laughs> yeah. um, exactly. No, I really would probably just be like, what? I feel like everyone who cheats regrets it. Even if you end up with that person, I feel like they still are like, well, I could have gotten about that better. I don't think anyone walks away from it proud of themselves when they're cheated, surely. No chance. No. Like, uh, I was talking to a friend. Yeah. To kind of disclose his name. And he was like, oh, I really like this girl. Really, really like her. She's so sweet. Took her on a date and everything. And then, like, the next day, he was like, but I'm seeing this girl. And I, she, I'm going to stay around hers for the night. Yeah. And I was like, I just said, I was like, do you not feel, like, well guilty towards yeah. girl A? <clears throat> yeah. And then there was girl B, C, D. And I was yeah. like, whoa. Don't know. Some some people don't care. Some people think it's like a, 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 a oh, what is it, like a, a label changes everything. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, they think that. Yeah, once once his boyfriend girlfriend, then they'll start to act normal. Yeah. But I feel like there is a build up where you're meant to show what you're about. Yeah, for sure. Test the waters. Test because imagine you you get with a girl, yeah. right? And then a month later, she's got with three guys in between. You're not gonna be like, oh, this is special. You're yeah. not gonna look back on the start and talk about how you met and all that because you won't even want to think about it. And the start is like. The best bit. Flowers blossoming. A honeymoon period. Sunrise. Let, let a thousand blossoms bloom. <laughs> Have you seen that video of that Australian Prime Minister? <laughs> no. It's an Australian MP. He's talking about um, <laughs> uh, gay marriage or something. And he's like, I, I don't care for people's sexual profanity. Oh, I think I have seen let that. Let a actually. thousand blossoms bloom. <laughs> and then he goes, But I ain't, in the meantime, I ain't talking about it. Because <laughs> someone's getting eaten by a crocodile every three months in Western Australia. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's like the best fucking video I've ever seen. But apparently he does that all the time, just switches up. Because I saw another yeah. one of him in Parliament or whatever they have in Australia. And he's talking about it again. And he's like, Yeah, I don't care about gay marriage. And then he switches up. And he's like, But knife crimes on a high. <laughs> or something like, that. like, just completely switches up all the time. And who's the guy who keeps freezing? What, in America? I think he's American. Yeah, I, I he actually, just keeps no, going. But, no, he, that's it, that, he's had two strokes. They, and they've been when he's talking. Like, that's actually a, a stroke. Why don't, no, all the replies on Twitter are like, he, he just does this. Like, no, he just, I, he just, okay, maybe like, he just forgets else, what he's talking he's about. He's got glasses. Yeah, and he's like, old. Like, old, yeah. Like, I think, and he just stops and just stares into the crowd. No, I think there's uh, something wrong with him. I think he's, or that, or he's a lizard. Yeah. Mm. Do you know what a skinwalker is? No. It's like people think some dogs are skinwalkers, like a human in a dog. What? You never heard of that? To be fair, our next door neighbor's dog is massive. No, He's but it's, than me. it's not really about the size. It's more about like how they act. It's not about the size of the dog. It's about <laughs> not about the size of the the dog. What is it? It's not about this. Oh, it's not about the size of the dog. It's in about the, the fight. Motion. It's about the motion in the ocean. That's not it. Unless you're into beastly alley. It's not about the size of the dog in the fight. It's about the dog in the fight of the size. <laughs> I don't know what it is. What is it? It's not about the size of the dog. It's about the fight of the dog. That's not it. Let's just keep it up. I can't remember what it is. What were we even just fucking speaking about? That's why uh, skinwalkers. Oh, okay. Yeah. Like <laughs> some dogs, you, know, like you see TikTok videos, it's like a dog, just a random dog will appear at someone's back door yeah. and they're just staring, staring at them. And then they're like, that's a skinwalker. Because someone, someone thought my dog, someone thought Alfie was a skinwalker. Why? My dog. Because he was just like, apparently when 
no one else in the in the family was looking, mm. the dog would just stare at them. Like just look at them. And then and then we'd look at and then they'd be like, Oh, he's looking. So I'd look and he just would be looking away. <laughs> well just, you <laughs> you know when yeah, you know when I used to help you and your mum take the shopping in? Mm. So you and your mum were inside and Alfie was there cross legged with a sky remote in his hand and went, No one's gonna fucking believe you, mate. <laughs> <laughs> that's so weird you say that because the person who thought my dog was a skimmer who made that exact joke but they said that they were filling up their water and he got up on his hind legs and tapped him on the shoulder and went who's going to believe you he <laughs> literally same joke that's so good that is the most common thing though who's going to believe you yeah. that, like, that's the funniest I joke I wish I love that joke I wish my cat could have spoke oh, if animals could speak I think the world would be a better place yeah what would horses say look at my car <laughs> What would they say though? Like, what would what would each animal say if they could speak? That's such a good fucking segment. Let me say it as if it's a TikTok, guys. <laughs> if animals could speak, what would each one say? Oh, great! Well done. <laughs> I, I, I pause. No, what I would a penguin say? Well, I, I can't use my arms. <laughs> <laughs> That's literally what they do. I can't. I can't fucking move them. I'm stuck. <laughs> or why is someone turning us into a chocolate bar? <laughs> <laughs> that is so good or what would a lizard say no but is it like is it the size of their brain or is it i don't know why they can't speak we're nowhere near yeah, why scientifically can't, advanced yeah, but parrots can to. speak yeah that is true but they don't well, they speak. repeat they, they repeat. repeat they imitate have you seen the the parrot that sings rihanna monster no <laughs> they're so good i'm friends with the monster like word for word is so good. Elite. What would a dog say? Would you be chill with your dog if he could speak? Hundred percent. Would he, he's so fucking lazy no, and dumb no? But what if he didn't like you? What if he spoke? What if your dog spoke and said, "Lloyd, just can you stop bugging me? I'm trying to sleep." Yeah, I'm the favorite son. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to sleep. That's all he does. What voice do you think your dog would have? Like an old school English accent? No, 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 no. Quite an immature voice, I reckon. Hello. <laughs> like a cheeky, a cockney. cheeky little all oh, right mate <laughs> pass me a fucking point mate i don't know what that was <laughs> that was not cockney whatsoever what would what would a camel say get off my fucking back yeah please <laughs> what? please get off my back anyone want to hump <laughs> yeah or is it i've got the hump <laughs> i've got the hump <laughs> i've actually got the hump <laughs> what would um what would an alligator say? Yeah. <laughs> oh, wait, no. <laughs> what would yeah, they what, say? They'd what? be so angry. They'd snap no, at everything. No, but alligators... <laughs> <laughs> they would be so snappy. <laughs> and then when crocodiles are like... Will Ferrell and John C. Riley and Step Brothers. Like, they're just not mates. Do they no. ever operate together? I don't know much about alligators and crocodiles. I know they're like... Found in different places and they're shaped differently what do you mean? by the nose. Alligators and crocodiles. Yeah, like I think it's no, they're the same. An alligator is a group of crocodiles, is it? No, not? they're two different things. What? Alligators are in Florida and crocs are in Australia. Something like that. What? Like some can live in the ocean. I swear, they're <laughs> There's like crocodiles so in the sea. I saw eighteen sharks jump in one crocodile. I'm not even joking. <laughs> I swear what to God. Are you watching? I swear to God. This was on. No, I'm joking. <laughs> I was about to say it's on Pornhub. <laughs> this was on. Um, wait, let me type in crocodile. I Go. did see a gang R of dolphins. Yeah, you th yeah, you said that on one of the pods. Look at this. Swarm of sharks attack lone crocodile in Northern Territory, which is Australia, I'm pretty sure. One of them goes for its arm and it wins. The croc wins. What the hell? Surely... Look. Has it gone for it yet? It's going to go for its arm in a minute, I'm sure. Oh, but the croc comes away from it, and they're all just swimming around one what? croc. Wait, so you're saying sharks are scared of crocs? Well, I just think they don't really see them that often, so they're a bit like. I, lo I love it because everyone was commenting on that video. They were like, just pretending they were like in quotes, "Help the croc!" As if you're gonna jump in and like fucking save it. Do you ever see those videos when it's like two gorillas fighting, and they're like, "Where's the where's the guard?" <laughs> you sort of run in, and guys, guys, <laughs> chill. What would a what would a gorilla speak like? Hey, no, yo, what no, the but fuck I don't know up? what gorillas or crocodiles or alligators sound like. Like, what noise do they make anyway? No. <sighs> or is that just King Kong? <laughs> That's King Kong. 
That's what they do. They go, they don't do this. That's what that's a common misconception. They do both hands at the same time. Yeah, they do both. Uh. People think because King Kong did that. Yeah, that's weird. That's a, a a Mandela effect right there. That is. I'm trying to find out the difference between crocodiles and alligators. What would be the snobbiest animal? animal to speak? flamingo. Yeah. Oh, they're cocky. Look at me. Fuck. I can balance on one leg. Or pheasants. Not pheasants. No, pheasants are getting hunted. Blue cocks. What are they peacocks. Called? Peacocks. Blue yeah, cocks. just chilling on the blue cocks. I wouldn't Google that. Yeah, they'd be like... <laughs> they'd be like, let me just sit on the top of this pub. <laughs> <laughs> That's all they do. They, they, can I have a pint, please? <laughs> yeah, peacocks. They just got one party trick and they just rinse it over and over, just opening their thing So up. old. They're terrifying, though. They're not. If you a peacock could... was charging at you, are you joking me? No. Some animals are so scary. Come on. Let's be realistic. You think now. you're taking a peacock in a fight? I can take multiple peacocks in a fight. No Easily. Chance. No chance. All you got to do is grab them. Have you watched Kung Fu Panda? Alligators are dark colored with a broad rounded snout and usually found in freshwater. Crocodiles are grayish green and prefer coastal brackish and saltwater habitats. They have a narrow tapered triangular snout. That's insane. I'm not even joking. That is insane. They look very different. So what's that? Oh, they're both of them. Look at how one of them's thing and thing and oh. thing. Like <laughs> fucking on repeat. <laughs> one of them's thin and long, and one of them's wide and. Is that alligator on the left? Alligator on the left, croc on the right. Oh, interesting. I never knew that. I literally, I'm 24 years old, and I never knew that. But yeah, so some of them, like I think Florida is crocky, alligator. Oh. And crocs are in Australia. That's pretty mental. sure. Yeah. That's that is actually cr- that is wild. Yeah. Would you ever like uh you see you these golfers that Yeah, they just they're just walking across Florida golf course. Would you take a golf ball out, out of a crop's mouth? mouth? No. For a hundred mil. With my hand? Yeah. I'm not mil. being one handed for a hundred mil. mil. I'm not being one handed for a hundred mil. What about mil. a night with me? <laughs> <laughs> or what? A hundred mil? A night with you or a hundred <laughs> mil? <laughs> um I'm trying to think of like what uh, you know cows moo in a regional accent that's not true it is I remember you saying this before yeah what so there's all they're all different so yeah southern cows go like moo <laughs> and northern ones go, go iron brew <laughs> 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 bristolian cows brew <laughs> farmer farmer really. brew what's that brew uh, what other animals what what would, what would like a pigeon be fuck off cunt no, but yeah, but go on then, kick me. <laughs> go on then, kick me. Yeah. Do something. Do yeah. something. I did see a homeless guy wallop a pigeon. a pigeon. Oh, it was the funniest thing I've ever seen. That's not funny. No, it was hilarious. You'll have an animal cruelty. I know, but it woke up and got up and everything. Okay. But at the time, it was so, so funny. So this homeless person was walking and you could hear him from a mile away being like, stop following me. What, a I pigeon? Thought, I thought it was a person, but it was a pigeon. <laughs> <laughs> and he just turns around, <laughs> volley, it like just slides across the floor. They just got up and walked away. And I was like, my first reaction was like, oh my God, that pigeon. But then it started walking away and then I processed it. And it became funnier and, and funnier. And it became so funnier. funny. Oh my God. That guy who sings in Oxford. <laughs> that fucking TikTok. I was dying. What a soft, gentle voice. <laughs> Top comment. You scumbag, you maggot. It's funny. It's because he's rushed. He's like, yes, yeah, scumbag. <laughs> yeah. Everyone just. <laughs> How did he get a busking license to do that? That's unbelievable. <laughs> Wish I saw him. Yeah. So the dilemma was. Uh... <laughs> Her boyfriend tried it on with her best friend. <laughs> no. Cro- How old We're did we about get cro- on to Crocs that? and alligators. Oh my God. I actually think that's an incredible skill. That we do. To, to go from that uh-huh. and our brains can take us over there. Uh-huh. I actually think it's good, not bad. Yeah. Yeah. I just see it as a positive. Yeah. We can do that about anything. Yeah, literally. But we don't even think about it. I was chatting to this guy I liked and he gave me mixed signals, but it spread around my school that I liked him. Hmm. He stopped replying to my messages and we don't chat anymore. All his friends says he likes me, but he's just too shy to admit it. Should I still like him? It depends what the mixed signals were. Was it like green light and walk at the same time? <laughs> Do everything. <laughs> I think that if his friends are saying he liked him, that's a chain of command. That's coming down from the top. Ooh. That's coming down from the from the boss man himself. And this he's is, saying this is coming from the most popular guy in school. Oh shut <laughs> up, you fucking idiot! I was just friends with people. I wasn't even trying to be popular. I know people. I know people. <laughs> um, Forget about it. They he's he's definitely relayed that. Boys aren't uh, boys at school. 
boys in the bus, boy. Sorry, I just had to get that out. Boys at school aren't clever enough to devise a plan where they stitch no. him up, stitch him up by telling him he likes you. Two weeks after, because she said this is two weeks after they're saying mm. he likes her. They're like I think, caveman. Yeah, exactly. But he oh. he would have said, okay, like just tell her I like her. It's easy like that. I'm way too scared. I don't know what to do. Oh, I miss them so, days. Yeah. Can you Can tell you her I like her? Can you don't make the it, information? Don't make it like I told yeah. you. To do it. <laughs> I reckon that was one of the most spoken sentences at school. Was don't make it seem like it came from me. Don't make it se- in everything, drama in everything. It was like, and like go somewhere else first. So it doesn't yeah. look like we've been speaking. <laughs> Just do a loop of the canteen and come back. Yeah, oh, I man. think he's told them that he likes you, so I would go for it. Yeah, go for it. And at the end of the day, if you get rejected, it's only rejection. It is oh, that, really, that's that like, close. Mm, 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 fine line. Like rejection really isn't that bad. It makes everyone stronger. Yeah, who cares? Yeah, who cares? Who who, who actually cares? Who cares? It's going. Your voice. <coughs> Have some water. <coughs> <coughs> yeah, just do it. Tell him you you're interested in him. What did you do? No, you said just do it. Oh <laughs> well, yours actually says Paris, Milan, Los Angeles, London, New York, Mexico City, Berlin, Beijing, Shanghai, Tokyo, Seoul, Barcelona. I fucks with it. They missed off some important ones. Bournemouth, <laughs> <laughs> Grimsby, <laughs> Hull. It's always Grimsby. It's just like, like it's the always, most memeable place. I do. Yeah. It's because of the film as well. Ish. The Brothers Grimsby. That is a funny, funny film. So good. I want you to blind write your favorite things about me. Okay, let's go. My humor. Yeah, that's up there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you made me laugh. Oh. I'm going to go weird too. Oh, I, I, did, I did not expect it to be that high. Okay, two, yeah. My oh, po- okay, four. What? <laughs> My positivity. Positivity, animosity. <laughs> Fix up other people in the And that Jake Bull song. <laughs> I'm going to go with your positivity. Three. Okay, okay. My singing. <laughs> How have you snuck that in there? <laughs> Your singing is a five. Five? Yeah, surely. Surely you've got four better traits than you're fucking singing. <laughs> Are you joking me? What, well, okay. You're uh, living off one song, buddy. <laughs> you're living off one chorus of one song. If you want to do it, do it. Okay, I'm not waiting. Go. No, I'm Hurry not up. doing it. I'm not doing it. Hi. <laughs> My cooking. What have I got left? One and four. Yeah. It has improved drastically, but I don't think it can go one. Four. But it is good. Okay, okay. Uh, number one. <laughs> the cuddles I give you when I <laughs> read you bedtime stories. <laughs> <laughs> Why does it always seem like we've set this up? I swear to God, we've never planned a single one of these videos. And it always ends with the weirdest thing at one or five. Every fucking time. But I would have put that one. <laughs> <laughs> oh that's so good I want you to blind rank five things about me okay my five minute motivational spurts <sighs> that, they are elite we, I can motivate I, anyone in the world <laughs> I reckon they are but it's five minutes it's every... just five minutes straight and it'll go crazy and you'll <laughs> want to achieve everything you ever achieved you can be on your deathbed like this close to dying and then you'll, I'll give you five minutes more than you need <laughs> <laughs> I, could, I could actually put that I don't know if that's too high though I was going to say th- like two Okay. I'm going to put it two. Okay. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, two. My loyalty. See, that's also really good. Ah, oh, but you have you. just ditched me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, because of that, I'm going to say three. Okay, okay. Nah, okay, okay. It's like, it's, it's, that should be two, to be fair. Three. My punctuality. Are you... Six. Yeah. He's a six. <laughs> you know that is the worst thing. Even my mum says, "Are we going off real time or Lloyd's time?" <laughs> the, your your time is the worst thing ever. Uh, that is five by far. Okay, 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 okay. okay. <laughs> what have you got left? One and one and four. Oh, no. Okay, my twenty different types of laughs. Yeah, they're, 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 some are infectious, some are. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that video when you dressed as Amo. <laughs> that is so good. That is Please a, put that in. Put that in the video. You want me to dress up as Amo and put it in the video? Yeah. Okay. 
like just because your laugh is so funny yeah okay good (laughs) (laughs) okay i'm gonna put that as oh i'll put that as four Okay, okay 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 so number one my morning mood in comparison to my nighttime mood <sighs> is number one. Your, ju- your morning m- mood. It's not that bad. It's, Nowadays, it's not no, that no. bad. It's not that bad. Since coming home, I've been impressed. Yeah, it's not that bad. But in comparison to my nighttime mood. There were times. Two different people. Two. <laughs> I, I'm convinced you're like schizophrenic. <laughs> <laughs> that is the, what, how is that number one? Because you one. left it there. Yeah, but I, I should have put law in one. Do you know what? I, I my, thank you. My, uh. <laughs> The way I see it, right, is it's almost as if I'm trying to use my word count up because I've got so many left at night. It's <laughs> like if I had 10,000 words a day, I used 9,000 after 9 p.m. You've got 20 words left at start. <laughs> <laughs> you said to me one morning, I'm going to kill myself. <laughs> Every morning, the first three minutes of when I've woken up, I could just leave the earth. <laughs> Let's play Guess Who. Are any of your people male? Two of them are male. Hmm. Are any of your people male? Two of them are male. Are any of your people American? One of them's American. Hmm. Are any of your people musicians? One of them. Two, two of them are musicians. Okay. Are any of your people British? Two of them are British. Okay. Are your musicians male? One of them is male. Okay. Is the American a male? Yes. Does your male musician sing pop? Depends on the album. Kinda. No, not really. Okay, that helps. (laughs) Okay. Does the American act? Yes. Okay. Is your musician currently making music slash alive? Yeah. Good. Has the American been in a film in the last year? No. Ooh. Is your musician white? Yes. Is the actor a lead actor? Yes. Is your musician below the age of 30? Yes, he is. Is the actor Zac Efron? No. Is your musician British? No. American, okay. Does the actor dabble in other professions like music? Not that I know of, I don't think so. Okay. Justin Bieber? No. Fuck! Is your actor over the age of 50? Yes. Sean Mendes? Nope. Fuck! Is it Brian Crankston? No. Crankston? (laughs) Crank... (laughs) Does your musician play an instrument? Yes. Has he won an Oscar? Yes. One. Oh, I think I know who it is. Is your musician American? Yeah. Is yours Leonardo DiCaprio? No. Does the musician have tattoos? Yes. Has the actor been in a Christopher Nolan film? Yes. Is your musician Post Malone? Yes. Okay, there's one. Ah! There's one. There's one. Is it Matthew McConaughey? It is. Yes. (laughs) Come on. Is your female musician British? No. Mm-hmm. Is the other male an athlete? Yes. Ooh. Is your female singer Billie Eilish? No. Oh, I went in straight away with it. Does your athlete play football? Yes. Ooh. Is your female musician American? Yes. Does your athlete currently play in Europe? No. Is your singer white? Yes. Does your footballer play in America? No. I'll give you a, I'll give you a hint. He's retired. Okay. He's not currently playing football. Is your singer blonde? Yeah. Depends on the year. <laughs> okay. <laughs> she dyes her hair. Okay. Is the footballer English? Yes. Miley Cyrus? No. Fuck. Is it Gary Lineker? No. Oh. Does she sing pop? Yeah. Get it depends on the album. Okay. Is your footballer a pundit? No. Oh, what? Has she released music in the last year and a half? Yep. Damn. Did your footballer play for a top six side in the Premier League? Yes. Okay. Is your musician over the age of 30? Yes. Is yours Frank Lampard? No. Is yours Taylor Swift? Yes. Yes. (laughs) Two, one. I've got two. Okay. Is yours Steven Gerrard? No. Oh, my. But you're getting close. You're on the right area. Is your final person an athlete? No. <laughs> okay. So, is yours a coach? Yes. Is yours Donald Trump? 
No. Fuck. Was he a midfielder? Later in his career, he did drop deeper. He dropped deeper? Which is a clue that he started up front and dropped a bit deeper as he got older. What? And he's English. Am top I being six club, but now he's a coach. Yes. There's like only kind of like one that I can really remember who played up front for a big six team and has dropped, then dropped deeper and then retired and is now a coach. Is your final person American? No. Okay. Although he did have an American accent for the majority of his life. Okay. Is yours Wayne Wazza? Wayne Wazza Rudy, yeah. <laughs> Too old. Come on. Okay. Um, is your last person an actor? No. But there has been a film made about him, but he's not in it. Is this female English? Yes. Are they over the age of 30? Yes. Is this woman a musician? Yes. Is your person currently alive? No. Okay. Is your singer Jesse J? No, <laughs> it's not Jesse J. Are they a politician? Were they a politician? Um, they were an activist, but they weren't a politician. They, they believed, had strong beliefs in the world, but they weren't uh, a politician, no. Okay. Is yours Adele? Yes. Yeah! <laughs> Who was yours? Ask if he'd been to the island. <laughs> <laughs> Stephen Hawkins <laughs> Things guys do when they like you Yeah <laughs> The reverse park thing Yeah Yeah I was doing that the other day On my own no, I'm it. <laughs> If a guy didn't like you He's got the wing mirror But if they like you It's the or if they don't like you, they're just not even bothering to reverse. No. They're just going straight in front. <laughs> they're not even reversing it in. They're just going in and then getting as close to the other door so you can't even get out. <laughs> yes. Pamper nights. Yes. Yes. Oh, 100%. We've discussed this before. That's the best thing in the world. A guy will want to pamper you on a pamper night. No, he just wants to be pampered. He wants to be pampered by you. Have you seen those TikToks of a guy getting glazed? Like... <laughs> they allow that now asking for selfies can i see you right now oh okay i thought you meant as in like <laughs> i was gonna say that is like the most 2015 <laughs> thing i've ever heard i thought you no. meant asking for yeah let me let me see yeah. your face right now i want to see your face yeah i don't want to see anything else just your face but just like a f yeah that's how <laughs> that's how you know they care if it's not like yeah let me see it's let me see your let face. me see what <laughs> <laughs> you rose up <laughs> Starts letting absolute stinkers rip. <laughs> yes. That means they like you if they yes. start dropping proper like... <laughs> <laughs> Dutch oven you. Yeah. When they Dutch oven you, that's true love. <laughs> that is romance right there. <laughs> the small details. Like I, don't, like, I don't care how forgetful he is. If you say you like the beach, he will buy you a rock and say, I've got this at the beach. Buy it from who? <laughs> small detail There's is not, I like the beach. That is not a small detail. A, yeah, is, a, if you meet a girl in Bournemouth and she says, I like the beach, <laughs> that's not a small detail because it's right there. <laughs> oh, do you want to go to the beach? Okay. We're there. <laughs> <laughs> but the small details, picking up on small details. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like blue bouts. I'll get you some blue bouts. Yeah. Hund hundo. Yeah. <laughs> Gently slapping you on the bum at every possible chance. Yes. Yeah. That it, means they they just find you just, yeah. just want to grab you. And that comes under biting as well. If someone, oh. if someone bites you gently, obviously <laughs> don't pierce the skin or anything. But yeah, if they gently bite you and they're teething, that means they like you. <laughs> You've been biting me recently. No, I haven't. <laughs> <laughs> Do you bite? Carry on with your fucking next question. <laughs> I'm like a biter. <laughs> Triple texting. Yeah. Do, 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 do. And the rest. Hey, like are you there? Why are you not replying? <laughs> Hello? But in more than three. Yeah. Like eight. I'll do it as much as possible. Yeah. If you ain't replied for an hour. No, not like that. I mean, I meant like answering everything. So if someone sends you six test me te text messages, you will answer each one individually. Mm. You'll take the time to read over each one. Absolutely. Yeah. I, I'm not a fan of that huge power. No. Especially when you have to click read more. Or open folder. Yeah. <laughs> open docs. <laughs> Doing activities he would never do with his friends. Mm. 
like clay pot- pottery pottery classes yes. yes yes spinning it yeah Whoa. you ain't doing that with your boys you're getting called <laughs> sus if you sat there molding pottery <laughs> Imagine making eye contact with your boy while she got wet hands <laughs> molding some pottery. Men will do anything to sleep with you. Will they? When I was 18 years old, I got a lot of attention from older men. Okay. My DMs would be thousands of people asking me on dates or even to just pay me. Thousands? Thousands. Offering to pay you? One day, this really good-looking guy from Eastern Europe started talking to me and then fantasizing about turning me into a doll. But like, what the fuck do you even do with that information? <laughs> like, I want to turn you into a doll. Okay, stay the fuck away from me. <laughs> well, I found this incredibly weird, but he was super rich. Yeah, okay. <laughs> He's going to give you a meal, but you're not going to be... You're going to be an inanimate fucking object, <laughs> so you can't even fucking use that money. You're a doll. He sent me the odd £1,000 to get my lips and hair done, and I really, really liked it. I'm sure they did. <laughs> but it got to the point where it was weird, and he wanted more and more. More lip filler, more Botox, and I was so young, I really didn't want to do it. Yep. But I really wanted the money. <sighs> he said he would fly me... He said he would fly me to his after the lockdown restrictions ended so he could, mm. you know, get at it. Only if I looked like a doll. So fucking weird. He begged me and begged me, and it got to the point where he sent me £145,000 to get my and whoo, done. <laughs> my. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted the money so badly, but I did not want to change my body. Because I'm only 18. Yeah, this is so bad. So I bought some AI software to digitally enhance places yep. to make it look like they'd been done. Yep, yep. After I got sent the £145,000, I blocked him and deleted every social media. I threw away my phone. And with the over £200,000 that he spent on me, I moved house and I've been off social media for four years. How did she send that in? My fucking pigeon. <laughs> well, she's come back. You've just typed, yeah, she's come back and now he's going to track her down. That's such a scary way to live. Yeah. But she said, I'm thinking of doing it again as I want to become a landlord. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if she's got away with it, he obviously didn't press charges. He didn't miss the 200 grand. Yeah, but how, like... What can you press charges about? I gave her money and now she, she's not a doll. She's not a doll. <laughs> 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 what do you want to comment green rug green rug green make sure you comment green rug <laughs> like the video if you're on youtube comment subscribe notifications on watch it on spotify as well after you've watched it on youtube they're the same video but just do it <laughs> <laughs> and uh yeah thank you for all the love forgive us five stars on spotify and we'll see you in episode 41 cut you got cut you got